This is uh, Russ McLaughlin. Russ uh -huh. was the brother of Ross McLaughlin. Ross worked at the post office and he was the president of the Summerland Legion for a while. A banner flies high above Main Street in Summerland, honoring Russ McLaughlin, who gave his life for his country during World War II. McLaughlin is just one of the soldiers who are honored in this way. His name appears among the many others on the cenotaph in Memorial Park. We're trying to not forget these people. It's, it's more than just their name on a cenotaph. It's more what they did in the community, what they look like. Um, I think that's a, a real way of remembering them. So the next banner on the street here is a, a banner to recognize George Dale. Uh, the Dale family was one of Summerland's earliest pioneers. Former mayor and historian David Gregory heads a project where citizens can buy a banner to recognize a fallen local soldier. The cost of a banner is about $175, and they're permanent banners, they go up every year. Okay, and the person to contact is me, David Gregory, and my number is 250-494-9030. Uh, anyway, George was killed in the Second Battles of Somes in um, August uh, 1918. And uh, Summerlin had a, a remembrance program for him on September the uh, 1st, 1918. And it, it was the largest um, memorial service in our town's history. Still is, to this day, it's the biggest wow. one. Every year on November the 11th, we read out the names. But when you just read out a name, you don't really know anything about that person. You really don't know what they look like, anything about their background. So what the banner program does is it puts their face up on a banner. And for those of us who, of course, were not there during the First and the Second World War, this brings them, I think, to life. A companion to the Banner Project is a book Summerland Remembers, co-authored by Gregory, which tells the stories of these local heroes. Organizers are also seeking the public's help in submitting photos for the banners. If anybody's listening and, and has pictures stowed away of uh, some of the people that are on the cenotaph, uh, it would go a long way to help the project as well. I think what is significant, there was such a participation of, of volunteers for both world wars uh, when the population of Summerland wa was quite small. You really learn the tragedy of war when you see these young men with their huge potential in life and they were killed in war. I think that's, that's one of the th things you really remember from, from this whole project. The people on the banners, uh, as they say, gave the ultimate sacrifice and um, we should never ever forget that.